Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we continue our series on building a user authentication system. In the last video, we built a UI for registration and login forms. In the second one, we set up the API for registering, logging in, and connecting to database. However, in the last video, we make a big security mistake. We say password in the plain text in database without any encryptions. This is a major risk as encrypted password can lead to serious security breaches. So in today's video, we'll fix that by talking about how to encrypt password. We use a library called bcrypt to hash password before storing them. bcrypt is great because it makes reversing the password much harder even if someone get access to database. By the end of this video, you learn how to hash password during registration and verify them during login. First of all, we fix a small bug on the login page. Right here, the H1 tag say register instead of login. We are gonna quickly update that to the correct text. Before we start encrypting password, we need to install bcrypt. To do that, simply type command npm install bcrypt. Once the installation is complete, navigate to your index.js file in the backend. Here we need to import the bcrypt library. Now we're ready to start hashing password. To allow user to register and say the password securely in database, we need to make a small change to the register API. This is the structuring of the data sent by the user in the request. We are extracting the name, email, and password directly from the request body, which makes the code cleaner and easier to read. Here we hash password using bcrypt. The number 10 refers to the source route, which add complexity to the encryption. The higher number, the more secure, but also slower the hashing process. Once the password is encrypted, we use usermodel.create to store user data in database. Note that we are saving the hash password, not the plain text password. If user creation is successful, we respond with user data as JSON. This allows us to see the newly registered user details, except the password will now be encrypted. If there's any error during user creation, like duplicate email or database issues, we catch that error and respond with it in API respond. This part of code handles any errors that may occur during password hashing process with bcrypt. Let's try registering an account using the UI to see how it's safe to the database. Now if you check the database, you will notice the password is stored as an encrypted string. Even though you can see it there, you can determine the actual password. This ensures that your account remains secure and prevents an authorized access. Let's walk through the code for the login API, which handle user authentication. If a user is found, we use bcrypt.compare to check if the provided password matches the hash password stored in database. bcrypt handles this comparison securely. If there's an error, such as an incorrect password, we send a response saying password is incorrect. If the password matches, the response is a set, meaning the login was a set phone. Now let's try logging into the account we just created. Open the inspect tool and go to the network tab. Here you will see the login API being called and a success message in respond. In this video, we cover how to hash password. In the next video, I will show you how to notify the user when they successfully logging in or when login fails. See you soon.